Well, we are heading now to a jerk fest. Just waiting on Adrian. Should be here somewhere, but no idea. Should be right here. Say hi. <laughs> yeah, just waiting. The lighting is good outside, damn. I'm hungry. Hey, buddy. What's up? Hi. Here's Hi, beautiful. How are you? When you're the only oh. vegan around. <laughs> and you're the only vegan around? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> no a taste of Edmonton. It's quite full at this hour, really. I'm impressed. I have an international audience. <laughs> My Jamaican vlogs are full of patois already. Oh, you saw that video? International audience will know. No, you saw that video? That you're just being your authentic self. I am being my authentic self. And that you're just expressing your culture, which is a piece of your identity. Wow. Oh, lemonade, oh. Jeez. No, but do you see that video? Where um, oh. the guy explains Jamaican Creole to the masses? What type of food are you getting? Oh! Palamandis is here. It's a vegan restaurant. Oh, you never go yet? home just here doing some editing so I can have a vlog up I don't know how long it will take I'm basically done I'm just doing the final touches on the vlog and I just set my alarm to wake me up early because of a million things to do I haven't done my apartment tour yet which is long overdue so let's hopefully I get to shoot it tomorrow as I kind of missed the mark on that a few days ago when I had someone to actually hold the camera for me. So, I don't know. I'll do what I can do tomorrow. I'll just do it. Find some creative way of shooting tomorrow. <sighs> All right, let me go finish because it's almost one o'clock and I don't want to be up till 3 a.m. in the morning. I want to get up by eight so I can have my day started. Ciao. Or buenas noches. Let's do that. Hey guys, just heading out to take care of some business right now. Um, I don't know how to start, but people are pissing me off today. Like, really pissing me off. All right, so my phone just rang and it was a really great friend of mine. He was close by. He saw me walking by actually. And he told me to come by and he bought me coffee and that just, I just lighten the mood. No, I feel better. Plus, I just remember to count my blessings. Even though things are not going the way I wanted today, but I'm healthy. I have a roof over my head. I have food. I'm blessed. So, you know what? I'm just gonna leave that negative energy behind and move forward with my day with positivity. Because I could be sick today. After last night, someone had pink eye. I didn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> See in a bit. So I finished what I needed to do and I learned a valuable lesson today. When things are within your control, don't get angry, upset, or frustrated. Just take action, take care of it. So that's what I learned today. Well, I knew this, but today serves as a reminder. So I was able to solve the issue. Yeah, I was crossing the road, so I had to pause for a second. Yeah, so currently I am going to the supermarket, but before that, there's this house right here that's gonna be demolished, and it's a beautiful place. I absolutely love it. I um, 
want to do a photo shoot here so I just came to check this butt out and the lighting and I'll just come set my equipment up I'm gonna give you a glimpse of what it looks like uh, they're planning to build high-rises here so all these houses will get demolished soon well I had my look now I have to uh, hurry go to the supermarket come back cook and hopefully I have enough time to go do the photo shoot before it gets dark outside it's now 8 10 it doesn't get dark till around 11 but I would want some natural light the noise you're hearing is taste of Edmonton by the way because I'm walking close by That was the legislator grounds, the Alberta legislator. I'll head over there sometime this week to give you a better tour of what the grounds look like. So I'm like five minutes away from the supermarket, so gotta giddy up. I'm short on time as usual. for the next two days so I am gonna stop by Timmy's to get a donut because I'm starving and that should keep me full until I finish cooking here I am at this hour making supper I didn't do my photo shoot but I um, was able to iron the clothing needed for the photo shoot so I'll do it tomorrow I have some time tomorrow I'm just making spinach and pasta. Just getting the veggies prepared before I add the other ingredients. sound crazy and you probably won't believe me but I have somewhere to be and I came to leave the apartment and the door won't open I am like literally stuck here so I'm just waiting on maintenance to come let me out of my apartment Another day of rain in Edmonton. We've been having thunderstorm mornings. Uh, I had quite a day today. Very productive. I'm just heading out to Freshie to get some food because I'm so hungry. I have a headache right now. And it's. I just hope I don't get caught in the rain because it's drizzling as we speak. But at the moment, I have to run because I have someone coming to buy my patio set because someone should drop in by my entrance bench so I have to make it quick <sighs> yeah finally the move is finally becoming real <sighs> so see you in a bit I've just sold my first piece of furniture I just sold my patio set so nothing to sit on for the next few days I'll just take a chair outside when I want to go outside and it's raining again. Wow, this morning was quite the morning. I was this close from going to the forest and scream. I was so frustrated. <sighs> I am moving in 
less than six days actually and I haven't sold all my stuff yet I haven't bought my plane ticket a mess but I'm getting things sorted out so you know what I'm not even gonna stress about it I'm just gonna take my time and make the proper arrangements and yeah I think I'll be all right so I'm just heading out to get some lunch and deodorant because I'm out of deodorant you don't even want to see what my deodorant thing looks like the struggle was fucking real this week yep I just finished shooting the photo I should have shot <sighs> I'm going up like a million stairs right now so I'm wearing this polished cotton looks almost like a prayer robe that a friend of mine got for me in um, Gambia I really like it I'm just gonna get it tailored it's a bit long so I'm just gonna cut it a bit shorter I believe uh, all right so at least I accomplished something today well I did accomplish a lot today but yeah. now I have to go packing because I'm seriously running behind schedule on the packing.